What's up YouTube? Welcome to Dev's Routine channel, my name is Nick. In today's video I'll tell you more about patterns of stage panning and creating new shapes in React Conla. So for this video I basically prepared a few hooks so we can toggle this button and receive the state. So let's start. The first thing we need to implement our panning in our React Conla is to make stage draggable. Um, also we will need some fixed size of stage, for example let's create const stage width 500 and 500. Now we can provide it here, also make it draggable, so now we can drag it, but we don't see yet. What to do with that? Let's make our outer layer grey and let's create one more layer where we will place some rectangle with x0 y0 and we can hide something like stage width stage height all right so let's make it uh, white we can see something that we consider as bounds let's drag it and now we see that we can drag our white rectangle actually we are not dragging our rectangle but we dragging our canvas because canvas is gray and rectangle is white all right now we need to fix this strange shape behavior how we can do it well if you look at our function handle change shape position it's attached to stages on drag end but we don't want to trigger it when we are dragging our stage right what we need to do now is basically just reattach that to our rectangle here great and now we can drag this one and drag this one seamlessly it's working great all right we did that and now what we want actually is to place rectangles we have this button that can be toggled by using the active tools you can do your own variant just to to be able to determine either to place rectangle or not so let's create something like handle stage click because we want to place our rectangle on stage right so if we click here it's our stage we want to make it appear here so let's do it let's attach this to our stage on click and now we can receive our stage here conva event object as well as we have here we can copy that and we have our event now we need to get its relative position because if you imagine when we drag in transform parameters applies to our stage or shapes so now we're basically transforming our canvas now we need to store our shapes somewhere right let's create state so basically we created our shapes array this is just typical uh, shape with a dimension so just id and x and y let's map it quickly great we mapped it now we need to adjust our handle shape, shape position because we will have multiple of them we need to uh, change it here and important moment um, here we are spreading our shape which contains id x and y so don't forget that we have also id here also don't forget to remove these scores because they are not needed in this static shape now here we'll need to just map through our shapes and uh, change the one we drag let's do it erase these set chords we don't need it anymore and we need to make sh set shapes take the previous value and then const shape id equals event target attributes id as string we can say because it's string and now we can compare if shape id equals shape id then we want to change it chords right something like here otherwise we just return our shape and here we need to provide some shape x is even target x and the same for y all right look at that we can take shape id from attributes because it's basically a node element here so yeah if we drag here it's working if we drag this one it's working great what we need to do here is basically place rectangle right to place rectangle we need to append one more object to this state with certain coordinates let's do this set shapes and id is UUID, you can actually use something you prefer more. And here we need to retrieve the coordinates of our click. So basically, like we have here, we can just provide something like this one, you say, right? And also don't forget to append new shape. And we need to make it only if uh, rectangles are active. Let's look at our function. If active tools, rectangles, so this one is active, we place shape at our target x and y let's try nothing happens because our x y is right here so if we start to move this we'll have just three shapes so in order to fix this but we have a special method called get relative pointer position just like this so and we can see that 
it's nullable. Let's just return if it's no position. And now we can just spread this here because it's just X and Y. And now if we go to our canvas, we click direct placing and click somewhere here, you will see that we can place our rectangles. Also, if we will drag this, they will remain here. And also, if we click somewhere here, they will get their exact relative position. What to do if you don't want to just drag it by clicking? Just remember our previous video with drag and drop handlers and let's implement something like this. So first of all, we need to remove this draggable prop from the stage. And then we'll need to implement some stage handlers, such as a handle mouse down and handle mouse up. If you remember our last video, this is the same as drag start and drag end, but just click. So we are basically not dragging the drag event, but click event. For example, we click and we release. Click, release. So now let's take event here, mouse event. And now we need to trigger our dragon only if we click our right mouse, right? So we say if event button equals to, then we say that uh, e target get stage. And we just take stage, star drag, and here we just say stop drag if we release our stage. And let's provide it here on mouse down, handle mouse down, on mouse up, handle mouse. Let's try. It's working, but we have this nasty context menu. We need to somehow get rid of it. Let's do this. Um, so we have the parameter on context menu and we can just take the event and say event if prevent default. Now if we try to drag with our right button, we will drag only stage and not shapes. And if we click with our regular button, we can drag our shapes and not stage. That's it. So what we learned today is how to make stage panning, right click dragging, then placing new shapes. And the last one is dragging shapes that are in array. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to comment it and like it and also join our Telegram meme channel. It's DevRoutine, I'm Nick, see you in the next video.